Well, hello, and thank you for joining us for this video on what causes Peyronie's disease. In this video, we'll discuss some of the possible causes of Peyronie's disease. Now, we also have other videos available, which will review why some men develop calcification with PD, and why people can get curvatures in different directions or specific deformities, such as indentations or hourglass deformity. So to begin, there are a few concepts which would help provide some important background here. First, although Peyronie's disease can occur at all ages, we most often see it develop in men in their 50s and 60s, as is shown in this figure. Second, we see it occur in higher rates in certain populations, including those who've undergone a prostatectomy or have underlying diabetes. Third, it occurs in most men at a time when erections first start to get a bit softer. And fourth, the term Peyronie's disease overall can be used broadly, where it refers to multiple subtypes of penile conditions, including trauma-induced curvature in a 20-year-old, or it can be used more narrowly to describe the more classic description of Peyronie's disease, such as curvature in a nodule in a 50-year-old. The current video will be referring to the latter, more narrow definition of Peyronie's disease. But future videos will go into greater detail about this more nuanced discussion of what is Peyronie's disease. Now with that background in mind, what exactly causes Peyronie's disease? Uh, keep in mind with these responses, please understand that the scientific community's knowledge on this topic is, is relatively limited, and this video will review our most up-to-date understanding as of 2021. The most commonly quoted cause of Peyronie's disease is that it's due to repeated microtrauma to the penis. The current animation of a heterosexual coupling demonstrates how this could occur. In the video, the male patient has a degree of erectile dysfunction where the penis is not fully rigid. This leads to some minor buckling of the penis. Additionally, in this position, the top of the penis rubs against the pubic bone in the female partner, which can cause further irritation. As the top of the penis becomes inflamed, it leads to some scar formation. And this scar then restricts the ability of the penis to stretch with erections, and it ultimately leads to curvature and deformity. A second potential cause of Peyronie's disease is related to development of a benign tumor. Now we've known for some time that Peyronie's disease is more common in certain families and likely has a genetic contribution. More recently, several specific genes have been identified which occur more commonly in PD men, and there's a fair amount of research going into this area right now. With this theory, something occurs to cause the body to begin to develop a tumor in the tum tunic albogeny of the penis. As the tumor grows, the body recognizes it as abnormal and begins to attack it. This can lead to pain and eventually a scar forms. As with the first example, once the scar is in place, it restricts the expansion of the penis so that a curvature or deformity may occur. Now, a third potential cause involves a combination of the first two examples. In this case, the man with mild erectile dysfunction is having intercourse and experiences some mild buckling and irritation to the top of the penis. This then leads to inflammation and possible pain in a region of the penis. The inflammation then acts as a trigger to spur the onset of a penile tumor in the tunica. Once the tumor starts to form, the body then attacks the tumor and causes it to scar. As with the other examples, once the scar has been established, it restricts the penis and results in curvature and deformity. In this example, any form of trauma or injury could be the initial trigger, which then leads to development of Peyronie's disease. So to summarize, classical Peyronie's disease is thought to occur in genetically susceptible people after experiencing some form of penile trauma, even if it's not recognized. It most commonly occurs in certain individuals, such as those who have a degree of erectile dysfunction, whether that's due to normal aging or from conditions such as diabetes or following a prostate uh, surgery. The direct cause is probably inflammation, which then leads to scarring. And this inflammation can occur from either repeated microtrauma a benign tumor or both. We hope this video has been helpful. For more information on Peyronie's disease, including causes, treatments, videos, and updates on the latest research, please visit our website at peyronies.com. Thank you very much.